It doesn't get any more tension-packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup Final. Who is going to come out on top? It's live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's France up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And now they get the ball rolling. Rabio, Chouameni, now Griezmann, Kunde on the offensive. Great vision to switch the play. Mbappe, and at the far post is Olivier Giroud. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, that's the end of that for now. Can he do it? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Played in by Griezmann. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Did well to win the ball back. Mbappe. And back with Griezmann. Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong. Trying to pass it into the corner. Opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. Short corner favourite. 
The corner kicks keep on coming. And taken short. Teo Hernandez. Possession given away, unfortunately. Ruben Neves. Oh, in with a chance. And a long way out. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. And he's clear his lines. And the shot just over the top. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Otavio. Ramos. A super tackle and they've won possession. Teo Hernandez. Now Rabio. Oh, he's lost possession. Ramos. A very effective challenge put in. And France pushing forward with options available. Mbappe tries his luck. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final, one to savour. Back underway, having conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Now, who can he play it to? Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Mbappe. Could cross it in here. Might it be Mbappe? He's foiled them on his own. He's in behind. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. underway with the lead standing at 2-0 and with that the attack fizzles out going well but quick thinking defensively Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. The substitution now.
Ronaldo. Very quick thinking there. Giroud. And now passing it through. Giroud. Well, the setup play is superb. Just look at his skill here. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And the action underway once more with France very much on top. And there it is, the half time whistle. And back underway, there can be no denying it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Portugal in the second? Teo Hernandez. Now Rabio. And a strong tackle. Ronaldo. Jules Koundé on the ball. An interceptor there. Body in the way. And over it comes. Dembele. Jules Kunde on the ball. Uber Mercado. Aurelien Chouameni. Now Griezmann. And he did well to cut it out. What can they do to stop him running at them? The delivery from Dembele. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Oh, that's a fine pass. Dembele. Just the challenge that was required. Joao Felix. On to Silva. Ronaldo lost it. Dembele. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. And time for the change now. Joao Felix and support available Guerrero now with Silva gives it a go no problems for the keeper Chouameni 20 minutes to go in this one. Rabio. Teo Hernandez now. 
Now Rabio. Mbappe. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Whipped in by Griezmann. Well, still an issue here. Griezmann. Oh, he fancies his chances. Terrific block. Rafael Leao. Can they hit on the break? And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. Dembele. Griezmann. This is looking threatening. Shot attempted. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again, and just look how he creates this chance. That's so inventive, and what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Ronaldo, nicely timed tackle. Mbappe. Now veering in field and denied by the post. Well, a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. And he's fired over the corner. And dealt with that ball comfortably. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. And he's made headway. He's foiled them on his own. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And Bernardo Silva has it. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament. France, the world champions. It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But Stuart, that's what France have done. And they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them.